Hello everyone, this is Rajesh for you with Soul Tuning. It is day 24 of my 90 day transformation in the raw, 12 week transformation in the raw and feeling great. Um, that's exactly what I want to talk about is um, the mind and watching, really watching your thoughts, not just when um, they're seemingly negative or, you know, you're, you're angry or um, not feeling good thoughts, but the good ones too, because a while back I talked about how at the beginning of this process I talked about how I was feeling really good and felt like I had been doing a lot of exercise and and felt like I um, was feeling tighter in tone and this is at the beginning and then I took that picture of myself and it was kind of traumatic for me to see a that uh, body assessment before picture and what I look like because I thought I had looked differently and I found that I was attaching my ideas of what I think I should be or what I think I should look like or attaching to the ideas of feeling good and because of that when my expectations weren't fulfilled from um, feeling good or looking good, I fell short. I, it was a shock and it was, um, sent me into a little bit of a tailspin and, and a slight little depression. So I'm talking about this because yesterday, this week, um, this week is, I, last week I was talking about how I wanted to be lighter and eat lighter and really lighten up in my body uh, especially with the heat of the summer and I've been doing that and I've been feeling great <laughs> and I can feel the muscles I, I've been eating a lot of um, cooling foods a lot of hydrating foods uh, really trying to focus on drinking more water I've been feeling more movement you know and in my system and I could feel the muscles inside my body just getting a little bit stronger and tightening. And I realized when my tummy is, um, f when it's overweighted, when it's full of, when I'm overeating or carrying extra weight, I don't necessarily feel those muscles as much. They're not functioning like they should, you know, the, uh, to get detailed, the peristalsis, uh, the inner muscles, right, the intestines are not functioning and, and moving like they should, and the surrounding muscles are not toned or strong. And I've been trying to focus on strengthening the front and the back muscles because that also really helps to um, prevent any back injury and really support any past injury in your in your back and so I'm feeling good and I woke up this morning it was happening a little bit last night and I woke up this morning and thinking I saw the thought creep up right so these these thoughts you got to catch them in the beginning when they're creeping up and there it was it was starting to creep and I was like oh well if I feel this good then I probably have lost some weight right and just that little seed is planting itself in there and and if it lands and if it plants itself it will start to grow and blossom into some sort of expectation and then when I go to get on the scale which I have to do this Sunday because it's my reeval and I haven't lost any weight just let's just say then that's gonna send myself into a tailspin again so and remembering that for me and for this this uh, program, it's not necessarily about the end goal, uh, long-term goal, as much as it is the minute goals, day-to-day, moment-to-moment. 
the fact that, okay, let's talk about what is working, right? My emotions are more stabilized. Um, I'm, I'm learning new dishes and I'm able to um, find satiating dishes that are super healthy and yummy and my body is screaming yes over them you know that it's it's enjoying it so my whole being gets to enjoy this food um, versus just my tongue or you know my mind uh, but my body's like yes you know it's loving it too I'm getting energy from it. I'm getting hydrated from it I'm I am feeling smaller and I know that the way I believe is that emotionally um, so you have the thought right and then the thought manifests into an emotion and that emotion depending on how you uh, react to it or not what your relationship is with it will manifest physically and you do have an energy body and you do have a almost like this force field around you so if your force field is heavy and weighted then that will manifest up on the physical and if you're thinking a certain way uh, about yourself or all the habits or the fogginess or whatever that will manifest in the emotions and energetic body and then in the physical so there is improvement and if I get on the scale on Sunday and I haven't lost any weight that's just one small part of it and it's not weight as far as weighing yourself on a scale is not linear it it's almost like you just it's like that um, it's a time lapse it's an energetic vortex you have to let it go and then one day you wake up and it's like wow what happened when you just stop thinking about it and, and letting the scale part go because ultimately you want to feel good in your body ultimately you want to have energy ultimately you want to be flexible um, you want to thrive in this life and so by doing all of that the weight is one of those added bonuses you're going to be thriving in your body and maybe that body is supposed to be heavier than what your perceived idea of what you should be but if your tone if you're fit if you're thriving if you feel great in your body then the number that it really shouldn't matter I understand there's a lot of um, processing to do around that because it can run very deep for some of us and myself included so just wanted to share these thoughts that were creeping up in the mind and quote unquote the positive or the good or however you want to label it um, a thought is a thought and if you attach yourself to it or build expectations from it you're gonna sell yourself short and I and I saw that creeping up this morning and trying to catch it right away and going wait a minute what is this really about what am I really doing that part doesn't matter I feel good now you know, I'm not going to try to futurize how I feel now into the future, whether I'm feeling good or bad or whatever. It's how do I feel right now? How can I work with this right now? How can I empower myself in this? How can I turn this moment, quote unquote, problem or whatever, into an opportunity and, and benefit from turning it into an opportunity and learning something from it? So, yeah, how to share that with you. It's, it's one of those... Um, little subtle things that I think a lot of us just let slip by. So learning how to become more of the observer of your mind and checking yourself uh, before you wreck yourself, <laughs> checking your thoughts. So, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, learned a little tidbit about YouTube. If, if you subscribe and then when you uh, subscribe, a little bell pops up right next to the subscribe button and hit that bell and that will notify you of any future videos if you want to keep watching any future videos leave your comments i, I want to hear from you and your perspective and on all of this on this process because i'm learning and building something really great from it so love to hear from you get to know you and your life and what you're working with and thanks for tuning in and until next time blessings to you